In 1904, the son of a British lord lost at sea was found living in the African jungle. Raised by apes, the natives called him Tarzan. His name was John Clayton, and upon his return to England, he accepted life as heir to the Greystoke estate. After his departure, bounty hunters began ravaging sacred African tombs, searching for the clues that would guide them to the treasures of the legendary city of Opa. Villagers lived in fear, there was no peace, not even for the dead. Let's see what your father's hiding. Open it up, Wilkes. Check the huts, get the ivory and anything else you can find. I'll search these huts. You take that lot. Ravens. Look at this. We're done here. Hold back. We haven't collected all the gold yet. We're done. It's over, we're pulling back. What? Come on, Wilkes, look at all the stuff here. Jinsky, Schiller, you guard the rear. Lucas knows Devlin. Torch the huts. We'll keep them busy. Meet you back at the boat. Go! My brother by law and not only in spirit. Yes, if not the best man amongst us, then certainly the luckiest. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, 
John. Where have you gone off to? Thank you for the party. And I appreciate all your good wishes. I'm sorry, but I have to go now. Last minute worries. Cheers! Africa? What are you talking about? When? Immediately, as soon as I can get passage. This isn't making any sense. We're to be married in a week's time. It was a vision. A cry for help from an old friend. They need me. And a bride doesn't need her betrothed on her wedding day? I cannot turn my back on them. No, but you can turn your back on me and our marriage. We can just postpone it until I return. And if you have another vision, shall we postpone it again? I've waited all my life for this day. This wedding will not be postponed. It will proceed as planned or not at all. I have no choice. I do! Jane, I... Go back to your jungle! You'd be married and settled down by now. Hmm? Up there in England, making little lords and ladies. <laughs> ah, it's changing here, John. Every day. They're plundering the whole bloody continent. There's a sad new lot that's winding up here now. There it is. Get slow. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck, sir. Maybe you stay this time, huh? Bongo Mukuru. Yes, right. You don't forget our words, huh? It is good to look on you again, Tarzan. I am honored that you sent for me, Mugambi. For many generations, we have seen this day approaching. The Mizungus have invaded our country. They have stolen one of the jewels of opera. He took it from my father's shroud, cursing my family. One Mizungu speaks our tongue. He may see its powers and use it to open the walls of the lost city. If this man finds the hidden place, Africa will be overrun by the Mizungus who come here to steal its riches. All warriors must fight. No Mizungu will touch Opa. Chula. I am a man of spiritual powers. Not a man of war. I have called you because you understand the Mizungu. When you speak to him, he will listen. Don't 
Don't interrupt me. It's bad enough you waste your own time drinking. Don't waste mine. I'm not here to waste your time, Mr. Ravens. And who are you? I'm John Clayton. John Clayton. John Clayton of Greystoke. Yes, the orphan raised by apes. Well, this is an honor. I'm Nigel Ravens, scholar and explorer. In fact, I even published a paper about you when I was at university. You may have heard of me. Well, no matter. You will. I'm about to mount the first expedition to the lost city of Opa. Opa has been extremely well kept secret up until now. It is very important it remain that way. And let the official discovery of the world's oldest civilization go to someone else. Now, you're an educated man, Clayton. You can appreciate this. I took these inscriptions off an ancient medallion. Now, imagine. The savages were about to bury this treasure with some dead chief. That dead chief was a friend of mine. Don't get sentimental on me. This is science. The Mbika will fight you to the end. Spears and arrows. And I will do everything in my power to help them. Now, honored as I am to be threatened by a landed gentleman, you are in my way. <coughs> Final warning. Take what you've looted from this part of Africa and move on. If we meet again, you will pay for it. You shall have every opportunity. All right, bring them to order. Gather round. Archer, pay attention. An extra 20 guineas to the man who brings me back the skin of a great ape. When you get back, we'll collect our money. Then we'll be embarking on what I fully expect will become the greatest adventure of our time. Let's go. Take her in. Hear that? What kind of animal was that? No animal talk like that. Maybe demon. Very bad. Let's go back. We're going forward. That's what we're paying you for. Now move!
Shabab, hold it. Bringing a lady to a place like Choroma is against my better judgment. But then again, I don't generally have any better judgment. I thank you for your concern, Captain Dooley. However, I'll be just fine. If you can lead me to my fiance. You stay put in the hotel, and I'll send word for him to come to you. You keep your door locked. You don't go out after dark, and don't speak to anybody unless you have to. Dangerous men here. White men with no honor. Kill women and children. Kill you. Well, it's not the Dorchester. It'll do. Good afternoon. Hold these letters for me. Good afternoon, Captain Dooley. Nigel Ravens. Jane Porter. Pleased to meet you. And what brings you to Sharomo, Miss Porter? Meeting her fiancé, Ravens. She's spoken for. Congratulations. Ravens, you got to Excuse gotta hear me, I'm trying to hold a conversation with this charming young lady. Begging your pardon. There's some business we have to discuss. My apologies, responsibilities. Perhaps I could join you for dinner later. Uh, I thank you for the offer, but I'm extremely tired from the long journey this evening. This had better be so important. We were attacked by a tribe of apes. What? Led by a white man, nearly naked. We saw him swinging through the trees. I did my best to fight them off. Hey, it's true! I swear! Rook saw him too! to take a seat. I'm sure you would like to have a table menu. Thank you. Thanks very much. Good evening, Miss Porter. You know, you should have a view of the river. Why have you put the lady off at the back? She needs a table by the window. Right away, sir. It really isn't important. No, I insist. You're much too lovely to be hidden away in the corner. Allow me. You haven't begun to eat yet. I uh, know, I, I haven't ordered as yet. Perhaps I can join you. But I'm extremely tired and, and not much of a conversation this evening. Is this your first visit to the jungle? How do you like it? Well, See, I... most Europeans see only a barbarous wasteland populated by savages, whereas I, I see untouched, limitless opportunity very soon. I shall uncover the ruins of the world's oldest civilization. Here? Absolutely. Hey! 
most of the Europeans in the region. What's, what's your fiancé's name? John Clayton. You know him? Zinsky, wake up! The animals, wake up! What is happening here? Who lit them up? the man of the hour. That'll set Ravens back by months. You brave man. But I'm afraid it won't stop him. Uh, you saved me a trip up river. There's a fine English beauty waiting for you at the Chiroma Hotel. Matter of fact, Ravens took a liking to her when she checked in. Your lady, she here. What? And not one of you managed to put a bullet in him! It was such a pity you weren't here to show us how to do it. So what are we gonna do? That was the money for our expedition. Mr. Wilkes, take Archer here and Jijinsky and go up to the hotel. There's an English woman staying there, Miss Porter. Find out if this jungle man is with her. If you find him, kill him. And the woman? Bring her to me. Look, we know she's here. If you don't give me a room number right now, I'll burn this hotel to the ground. You got me? Mm -hmm. Yes. What's the number? important priorities. I'll deal with Lord Greystoke and his friends at my convenience. Can you push 
I'll be back down river in three, four days. I'll give you the usual signal. Thank you, Captain D. It's my pleasure. Hold on. Why? Just pretend I'm carrying you across the threshold. What? Ah! Ah! Sounds like an elephant in trouble. Come on. What is this? A trap? Yes, and we have to get her out before the poachers return. What should I do? Talk to the baby. Speak softly. Be sure that she'll be all right. I'll try. Hello, little one. Oh, poor baby. We'll get you out of here. So don't worry. You'll be free soon. Where did you get that? It's my brother's army revolver. He insisted I bring it. Harder to use than one might think. Your brother Douglas taught you to shoot like that. No, I taught myself to shoot. He taught me to drink scotch and smoke cigars. Charming. Ah, oh, you're free! Yes! <laughs> Come on, baby! Paradise must have looked like. And dreary old England is all but forgotten. No, England has its charms. My roots will always be there, but this, this is spectacular. I, I could live here forever. <laughs> <laughs> this is as far as they can take us. Right.
I suppose it needs a woman's touch. Huh. Well, thank you very much. You're terribly friendly. My father's books. I taught myself to read, but I could never fully understand them. Mostly I just looked at the pictures. This was my childhood. Just as London was for you. I know this makes us worlds apart. Your house is gorgeous. I love you, John. On an estate or in a tree. You know nothing about guns. Stick to your dynamo. Oh, give him a go. This gun was made for people with bad aim. Come on, show us how to miss our chest, man. <laughs> how many porters did you get? Fifteen from various villages. Quite good condition, too. Good. We leave at dawn. Tonga. He's an old friend. An old friend? He's a big bloody snake is what he is, and he scared me senseless. It's harmless. Come on, we'll take him outside. Oh. 
my dress. I'm afraid it's too late. <laughs> what is that? We have to go now. Over there. Don't show any fear. They respect courage above all else. So fainting would be out of the question. Wait. What do you mean? They. Zungus are headed for Opa. Now is the time to attack and drive them away. We cannot defeat them in open battle. Tarzan is right. This time is different. Tarzan is soft in the heart now that he has a woman. The Mbiko are not soft. This is not the time for Tarzan, who has grown weak among the Mizungu, to come back and tell us we cannot defeat his people. They are not my people. Who are your people then? Not us. To me, you look like a Mizungu. John, please. To him, Mizungu are worse than felt, and he just called me one. Like it or not, we are Mizungus. There'll be more fighting in the days to come. Don't be angry. We will need your help. You know that I will do what I can, Mugambi. Fuck off. You can't do what you have to do and look out for my safety at the same time. If someone could help me get to the river, I'll, I'll have Captain Dooley take me to Chiromo until this is over. I'm very sorry. For what? Our warriors found Dooley on the river bank, badly wounded. They saved him from the crocodiles, for which he was grateful. He had a peaceful death. What about the man who worked for him? don't stand a chance against this kind of weapon. But surely the Amico know the jungle better than ravens. They must know how to defend themselves. They've never seen the power of a machine gun. They will be massacred. Yes. That's why I have to stop ravens.
Fit. Drop a rope and swing to the other side, and we can rig something and get across. Are you mad? Come on, bitch, you coward. But suicide. Get last year all the money. In back on our feet. Shut up. What did you say? He said you're a white coward who doesn't want to earn his pay. I thought he said something about going down river. Then perhaps you're just another coward, Mr. Wilkes. Any man who slings that rope across, I'll double his pay. Stay here. Keep your revolver ready. Anyone not crossing with me leaves now. They're not worthy to look upon the lost city. Choose four men and come with me. Keep working! Come on.
What do I do? Oh. Tell me. Tell me what to do. Just stay back. Just do this. Do this. Oh. Come on. him, he'll be a corpse in 20 minutes. Don't touch it. No, it's dead. Ah! Bloody fool. Better hope there wasn't any venom left. Where is he? Looks like a cobra got him. I'm gonna die! This way. the tourniquet. Too late. Leave me. No, I'm not leaving you. John. Over here. Dizzy! of you to lead us away from him, Miss Porter. Rather pathetic ploy, though. Might I suggest you lead us back to him to avoid great discomfort to yourself? No amount of discomfort can make me assist you in your insane actions, Mr. Ravens. Be reasonable. And how long do you think you'd survive out here by yourself? Lead us back to Clayton. We'll help him, too, if he's still alive. You're a liar as well as a coward. I'll never help you. Shame. You could share the riches and glory. <laughs> the trail leads towards that tree. Yeah. I'm not getting any closer to that lot. Yeah. If he was still alive, he'd be all over us. That snake bite must have killed him by now. He's not hanging around. A shame. I wanted to kill him myself. This 
much as food is. Jane. Thank you, McGumby. Nyobonga, McGumby. Easy going from here. For turning back now. This is the gateway to Opa. More like the gateway to hell. Ah, <laughs> Ring out the dynamite. Back off, everyone. This is my job. You're a sick man, Archer. Sick. Rich. Not yet. Another one! You can smoke on this, you heathen! <laughs> <laughs> 
to come in. Passage to Opa is sacred. Iman. Talir born in Mohalam. Closing the entrance after you. You do what you have to do, Kaya. Taza. Voilà. Over 
in here, really. Shella, Ackerman, over here. Come on. Come on, put your backs into it. We need a rifle or something. The Count's rifle. Let them come. Go through. Never kill him. Archer? Yes, sir. Ackerman, open the box. I'll blunt the dynamite. The rest of you, away from the door. Back! Anyone missing? Clever. Couldn't swim. Where's the machine gun? Sank like a stone. I had to let it go. Or I'd have gone down with it. Not such a bad idea. Tie it to that rock. No! Come on! No! Okay, gentlemen, good. Now circle the pool. The surface is open fire. Dynamite. Archer, light. Why are we wasting time? Let's go. Shut up. Clayton! I know you're here! Either give yourself up or start counting with me now! Ten! Nine! Eight! Seven! Six! Five! Four! Ooh. There he is! Come on! 
Look! Get out of this one, ape man! Opa. Satisfied, gentlemen? We stand on the threshold of immortality. Who the hell are they? Let's find out. Are you hurt? No. I don't think so. Twentieth century. Why despair? Your warriors are here. What warriors? An equal force to fight the Mizungu. Ready? Thank you. That's mine. Look, there's enough for everyone. This is 
mine. Grab your own gold. Stop fighting over the loose change. The real treasure's this way. What the heck was that? What the devil? plunder and destroy. Oh, Clayton, for God's sake, man, help me. I don't want to die here. Please. Please. right all along was it worth it the cradle of civilization and nobody not one person believed in me to your father's tomb. Thank you. We've saved Opa. Peace has returned to our land.
We better go. Is it trouble? They're preparing for a wedding ceremony. We shouldn't be late. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Jibbo. You'll be best man. <laughs>